Yo, what is going on guys? Raging RC here. And today, this is my first video. And I'm going to be showing you guys my RC collection. So far, these are the four main ones I got. Arma Vortex 3S. Beautiful car. The Traxxas Max. Arma Titan 6S. Got some street tires on it real quick. You can tell which one's a shelf queen, but and then my Alma Granite Mega, which was my first RC car to ever have. So yeah. So pretty much I got the granite and then I got the Vortex, then the Max, then the Typhon. And out of these four, my favorite, I can't choose one. I love them all. Doesn't matter if it's a Traxxas, an Armour. Love both of them. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything up on my desk and show you guys what all I've done and what I need to do. All right. So here's my Armour Granite. Had this thing for about three years now. A little bit of tear and wear on the body, especially on the back. Um, it's very, very dirty, my poor desk, but yeah, she's getting some work done. Don't, don't even have a motor in there right now, but I'm putting a new slipper in there to gear it down. Hopefully it'll go a little bit faster. I'm running a 19 tooth pinion. Got the motor in here somewhere. It's all my tools. But it's just a little brushed 550 12 turn. It just takes 2S or a little nymph battery that comes with it. So I've got a 19 tooth pinion and then I'm putting a 55 tooth spur in it. Hopefully make it a little bit faster before I convert it over to brushless, which I don't know if I want to do 3S or 4S for this thing, but oh, beautiful truck. Haven't had really anything break other than after the first two weeks of owning it, I decided to jump it off the roof and broke a front shock. But other than that, it's a nice little truck. Runs really well. It does probably about 25, but you know, it's starting to get up there now that I'm messing with the gearing. But, man, I just love that short wheelbase monster truck look. So let's get on to the next one. And up next, we got the Arma Vortex 3S. Does about 50 miles an hour. It's a good little truck. And as you can see, I am missing the wing. Let's just say this thing has blown my mind. It can do black backflips. It can, you can go do wheelies all day if you want. I mean, this thing is a beast. And the only problems I've had with it is clearly this wing on the body, which just was not supported that good. So I just cut everything, cleaned it up a little bit. I mean, looks fine without a wing. And then the wheels. I don't know what it is about these 3S armors, but the wheel will fall off. It'll come disconnected from inside the drive shaft. And I mean, most of the time you don't lose the parts, but I've had it before where the wheel hex has come off and I've lost the nut and the little back hex that goes to the wheel. And yeah, that was just annoying. I don't know why the wheels want to fall off. I've gone and loctited everything now. I mean, I haven't had that problem. And then the other upgrade was a metal hot racing 57 tooth spur because I have gone through probably 15 spur gears, plastic spur gears in this thing till I finally just put a metal one in it. It runs perfect, doesn't strip anything. Everything's just perfect. I mean, it 
gosh, I just love this truck. But yeah, that's so far all I've done to it so far. It's, you know, I got a whole bunch of different 3S batteries I run on it. But other than the slipper and whatever the other thing was, I haven't really done anything else to it. So but it's a nice car. Look at that. Vortex. But yeah, I think if you're having a problem with your 3S vehicles or really any vehicle stripping out that many spur gears, it's just time to go to metal because that was just ridiculous. But now, now that I'm that I fixed it, it's not a pain in the ass no more. <laughs> it's so much better. And next up we got the Traxxas Max. This thing is a freaking beast. The, ah, let's see, the only thing that I've broke on it was the hub in the front. I, I go out on Friday nights and run this thing on the street. I got street tires for it. And, um, well, somehow it lost signal and smashed right into the side of a brick building. Broke, only broke the hub. That's it. Which, for going... 50 miles an hour flat out into a brick building. I'd say that ain't, that ain't too bad. But this thing has seen its good times. But man, I don't know if everybody has this problem with the max bodies, especially when you're doing backflips, but the whole back just crunched in. So definitely going to be getting a new body soon. But I love just the clip body it just makes it so freaking easy all right now with this thing i got the hundred dollar light kit man i was so happy went out there bashed it one time broke it broke the lights stopped working and then i've had the fan wires get snapped off and i've had I've only stripped, I think, one or two spur gears, plastic ones. And currently I'm running a 56 tooth with a 24 tooth pinion. I'm waiting on a 26 tooth to get here. And I'm going to throw in the 46 tooth. And hopefully this thing will go well over 60, I'm thinking. But this thing's a freaking beast. I got the little shock covers, even though they're not doing nothing but can't keep it from getting dirty that's for sure but god i just love that truck just the way it looks and the way it handles too i also went and changed my steering servo i got the x max high torque servo which it's okay i think i'm going to be replacing the servo saver soon just because it's such a Gosh, it's such a fast servo on these plastic parts, and it's kind of getting weak. So I think that's the next upgrade I'm going to do. And after I get that high-speed gearing in there, I think I'm just going to leave it alone because it doesn't really need much. And you can tell I've bashed the crap out of it. I've taken headshots, all kinds of crap. But this thing, this thing is tough as crap. Tracks is tough, baby. And next up, we got the Arma Typhon 6S, and man... Is this thing fun? Now, <laughs> for jumping and bashing, you know, it's got its weaknesses. The uh, only thing I've broke so far is the hinge pin blocks to the front arms. And, which, I mean, it was an easy fix, but I got the stock ones, and I probably should have upgraded it to metal. But I got the old tires, but they're not on it right now. These are just some cheap freaking $30 set of four had to glue them glued them terribly as you can tell they're just not flat I mean, it's terrible but this thing is a beast take it on pavement take it on rocks dirt it's a freaking beast and it definitely gets up to I'd say 60 right out of the box, but 
haven't got a GPS yet to test it, which will be coming soon. But, man, do I love this thing. Just the sleek, slim look of it. Gosh, it's just beautiful. I mean, man. I freaking love it. But yeah, that's the only thing I've done to it so far. I'm going to just replace that hinge pin block, get some street tires for it, even though I know now to not get cheap tires. But, yeah, I mean, it's been through the dirt a little bit. Don't really have a great way of cleaning them yet. I just kind of use a brush and go all around it, but hopefully I'm getting an air compressor soon and make it a whole lot easier. <laughs> but, yeah, that thing is just so freaking sweet. Now it jumps, but don't be expecting to do backflips or something because I've gone through, I've changed the punch, I've got it going as fast as it can without putting the high, high speed pinion on it. And this thing will not backflip. It wants to nosedive just about every time. And yeah, I mean, it, it'll do some long jumps, like it'll go probably 20 30 40 feet which is like crazy but it just won't i don't know it's like it just doesn't have enough movement in the wheels to turn it in time i guess so but yeah other than that that thing is just so nice it's probably one of my favorite vehicles but, and up next we're going to talk about my little crawler you want to talk about something that you can take with you anywhere and just have fun out in nature or just at your friend's house. This is the way to go. Now, since it's being a 124th scale, it's definitely gonna be smaller than any 110th, 18th scale. But man, is it fun. It's got a Velcro body and just a clip holding it on the back got like three batteries for it and so far the only things i've done is put a hold on put a high clearance set links on it and then these bead bead lock metal wheels which i think look awesome and it's not fast but you don't want fast out of a rock crawler. All you want is slow, easy, just good to control. And I haven't figured out what other upgrades I want to do yet. I definitely think I'm going to be changing the steering servo soon. But other than that, I just love this truck. I mean, it's just beautiful. The detail and the body and the interior and just gosh it always leaves me speechless but for my other tires that came on it let's pull out the old piece of work right here this is the mini z jeep 4x4 and these are the stock tires that came on the bronco and in order to run these tires you need adapters and i got the adapters but keep having piece inside of this break out so that it just won't hold the tire so i don't i don't know what what i've done i've fixed it twice i'm just tired of working on it because it just keeps falling back out so i don't know it'll be fixed sometime i'd love to put them against each other and just see which one performs best the axio sex 24 or the mini z jeep but man I just love the detail and the stance of these things. I just, gosh, I can't get over it, man. But yeah, that'll do it for this video. That's my whole RC collection. I've got all my tools back there, some remotes, my tools in here, some more spare parts. There's my motor for my granite. And then that's where I usually keep all my batteries. I've got a big lipo bag right here full and full and full of batteries so yeah got a bunch of goodies <laughs> but yeah hopefully i'll 
make some more videos and hopefully get some footage of them running. And I don't know. I just hope I can have some fun with this because I've always wanted to do YouTube and with RCs and you know, just thought recently it might be the way to go. So hope you all have a good day. Thanks for watching. Peace.